Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here with .NET New Corporation. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can convert a child portal in .NET New into a parent portal. Now, we're going to be doing this from the host portals page. So if you're logged in as the host account and you navigate to the child portal, you can actually go straight to the admin site settings page to make the changes that we're going to make from an alias perspective. So what we're going to have to do is we have to add the alias for the new domain name that we want to convert the child portal to. And then we also have to make sure that IIS is configured properly for that as well. Now the alias that we're going to be configuring is dnnparentportal.com, a fake domain name I've made up. And I've already configured my local machine to believe that the DNS for that domain points back to itself, just for example and test purposes. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over here to a .NET Nuke install. Now I'm currently on a child portal the child portal URL is www.netnukedemo.com slash child. Now from here, we're going to go to the host portals page. In this particular install of .NET Nuke, we currently have three portals. One running at localhost.net nuke, one running at www.netnukedemo.com. That's a, another parent portal. And then a child portal running at www.netnukedemo.com slash child. Now what we want to do is we want to add an alias to convert the slash child into a parent portal. So I'm going to do that by clicking on edit for that portal. And that will take me to the site settings for that particular portal. And if we scroll down, when logged in as a host account, we can go under advanced settings and then into the portal aliases section. Now we're going to add a new alias for this portal. I'm going to click on add new alias and type in the domain name that I want to use. I go ahead and click on save and that will add the alias. Now if I open up a new tab here in Internet Explorer and I try to navigate to that what that alias, we should see the IIS 7 landing page. That's because we haven't told an, our web server how to respond to that incoming domain. So going into the IIS Manager, if you don't have that open already, you can click on your Start menu and type in INET MGR. Within IIS Manager, I currently have two websites running. One being the default website, which has our .NET Nuke virtual directory underneath it. The other website being this .NET Nuke demo.com, which I created when we demonstrated the parent portal video in a previous video in the .NET Nuke video library. Well, I can either recreate a new website underneath the sites node with my new alias, my new domain name, or I can actually just come in here to the existing website, right click on that existing website, and choose edit bindings. Now in the edit bindings section, I'm going to be able to type in the domain name that we want this website to also respond to. So it currently responds to www.nanukedemo.com. I'm going to configure this to also respond to that dnnparentportal.com. Now if I go ahead and hit OK, that will add the binding there. You can go ahead and close. And if we switch back to Internet Explorer and refresh that IIS 7 landing page, what we should see is that request will now be passed to that website that points to .NET Nuke and .NET Nuke should then allow us to load that child portal page. We can see that if we go to www.dnnparentportal.com, we have a .NET Nuke page that gets loaded. Now just to demonstrate that this is the same portal and not some other portal, I'm going to go back over here into the other tab where we have the child portal loaded using the child alias or the so if we scroll up here, and I'm going to go to the home page for that child portal. And from the home page, I'm going to add a new page to this child portal. So because we have two aliases, we can actually access the website with two different URLs, .nukedemo.com slash child and dnnparentportal.com. If I come in here and I click on new, we're just simply going to add a new page. We'll call the page test and we'll make the page visible to all users so that it should show up in that other tab. And 
set the permissions on the page click on update so that will create a blank page in the top level navigation now that page will have one HTML module on it so we should see here using the child alias we have home and test listed in the navigation now if we switch back over to the other alias the newly created alias and we refresh the page there we should have a new page created and we see it show up in the menu there called test we can navigate to that page and see that there's no content being displayed that's because we haven't actually gone through and configured the module that that was put onto the page but we can see that we now have an additional alias that we can access that particular portal at so we've effectively turned what was initially a child portal in dotnet nuke into a parent portal now we can also then go in and change the name of the portal and change other settings as well if we would like but we'll leave that for another video so i'd encourage you to check out our training options you can find our dotnet nuke training page under the resources tab on dotnet nuke.com from there you'll find a link to the variety of free training videos we provide as well as our upcoming uh, instructor-led training webinars a schedule of those and then information about our custom on-site and online training options. Again, this is Chris Hammond with .NET Nuke Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.